I'm Hayden, I'm from New Zealand, from a little town called Whakatane. Do all my training just uh, 45 minutes up the road in a place called Tauranga, so close to the ocean uh, and the beaches where I you know, love to be. My passion for the sport started in high school. Uh, growing up, like a normal teenager, I was just playing football and playing hockey. I actually didn't do triathlon at all. I didn't really know what it was when I was young. I was running quite a lot for fitness for my other sports and uh, a teacher that was teaching me at school just um, told me to give this uh, sport a go and from there that's what kind of where it started. I went to Xterra in Maui for the World Championships as a young under 19 athlete and came away with the win and from there I thought yeah I could be uh, pretty good at the sport so I went back again and won that one and that was kind of the time I decided to become professional and, and try and push. I think a lot of my success comes from my family. Um, they, they push me a lot and um, they give me a lot of motivation to do well when I'm overseas. Also, yeah, my coaching team back home because I know my whole team behind me puts a lot of effort in. I like to you know, give that effort back. It's a whole team kind of commitment and um, together I think the success is great. The goal was to just make the Olympic team. To make an Olympic team for New Zealand is, was a very hard thing to do. We've got a, a gold medal and a bronze and, and silver as well. For me to try and do it in a space of three years um, and not having a lot of experience was a big ask and commitment. Getting a medal was not really on the cards. It was an unreal feeling to, to win the bronze medal. More than a dream, to be honest. I remember most of the racing. I usually go back and do some analysis with my coach. Um, what I can improve on, what I did wrong, what I can do better and differently as well, and then make sure I can put that into the next race. Some performances, you do make mistakes, so you try and fix those in the trainings leading up to the next one. So it's very important for me and my coach to, to go through those and, and yeah, you know, get better for the next one. When you're in the, the next race, you just have to not think about anything and, and try and do your best on the day. When you think about racing, you don't want to overthink it. You have to go in with an open mind and you just have to control the things you can control and the things you can't control, you just have to try and do as much as you can to, I guess, compensate for those. I think if you overthink racing, it will never go well. You just gotta think in the present and not too far forward as that's when mistakes happen. You can think about what you did wrong in the other race, but you can never fix that. You can only fix that for the next race. And Something I regret probably is just, I guess, being too. Some people think it's maybe uh, a good thing or a bad thing, but maybe being a little bit smarter in racing. I do think of what I do in racing, but sometimes it might not be the best things. I think when I become more confident in myself, uh, I can be a bit smarter when I race. I still haven't touched my, my limits yet, and I think the, the boundary can get, yeah, I can still go quite far with the boundaries. So I'll keep pushing and try and find those limits. If I find the limit, I'll, I'll try and push through that and become, yeah, the best I can be. The best I can be is world number one. If I look at performance, I know I can, can get better and be better. My goals for the next few years is to to go to Paris and, and try and win the gold medal, but also try and yeah, be a better athlete uh, every race and every day because I know there's uh, a lot of improvements um, that can be made.